These are arguably some of the worst videos I've seen in a while. And lately, I've been watching a whole bunch of this shit. So that should tell you something. These animated stories are incredibly cringeworthy. They're either filled with disgusting people or assholes. Sometimes both. And honestly, I'm still trying to figure out the point behind these videos. Are we supposed to learn from the person's mistakes? I mean, these are very rare and abnormal situations. But if the reasoning behind the video is to make me feel sorry for the person, then you fucking failed. I pretty much hate every single person in every single one of these videos. They are all ungodly unbearable. So today, we'll be watching three whole videos about these shitheads. I will say though, watching these videos does make me feel better as a person, so I guess that's one benefit. Hey, I'm Chris, and I've always been very close with my mom. I guess it's because my dad left us when I was a baby. Ever since, our favorite activity was her breastfeeding me. What the fuck are you sucking on? I don't see a nipple there. But on my 10th birthday, she asked me if I wanted to stop doing it. I was shocked and started crying because I loved drinking my mom's milk. It tastes much better than cow milk, because even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds it gets really creamy. Yum! <laughs> That's why I told her I would never stop no, drinking No, no, and to this <laughs> We're not just gonna pass over that comment. This needs to be explored. We have teenagers on YouTube describing the texture of their mom's breast milk. Susan, I don't want to tell you how to do your job. Okay, yes I do. Why the hell is this shit on YouTube? You guys know those food review channels where people review fast food and act like they're some high-rated critic? I feel like YouTube is gonna take a new direction and give the platform to people who criticize their mom's breast milk. Alright guys, today I'll be talking about my top 10 favorite breast milk. Today we'll be reviewing my mom's left titty. Oh, that's good. Oh, got a little creamy texture there. Oh. Alright guys, I'm giving this breast milk a 7 out of 10. It was overall very decent, but what blemished my experience was some nipple hair. I actually didn't know it was strange to be breastfed as a teenager, because my mom homeschooled me until 8th grade. Dude, you're giving homeschool kids a very bad rep. This situation right here is a freak of nature. After that, I went to a public school, and when I asked one of my classmates if he'd rather drink milk from a cow or from his mom, he started laughing because he thought I was making a joke. But I don't think it's something to laugh about. It definitely is. I mean, what's wrong about being breastfed as a teenager? A lot. It tastes amazing. There are lots of health benefits, and I have a really close relationship with my mom because of it. Yeah, but when people bring up those statistics about health benefits with breastfeeding after one year, they're usually referring to two to four year olds, not 16 year olds. I often feel like I'm living in a bubble. Like, she won't let me play soccer with my classmates because she is worried about me being injured. And when I meet up with friends at a mall, she wears a wig and follows us wherever we go. Yeah, I'm sure she does that. By the way, have I mentioned these videos are fake? I mean, I can believe this kid getting breastfed at 16, there's a lot of fucked up moms out there. But the mom putting on a wig and following her son around the mall, that's definitely bullshit. You'll notice while we watch these videos, there's a lot of exaggerations and cartoonish moments. Like, yeah, the main part of the story probably happened, but the little stuff in between are probably just there to shock the audience. But isn't it a normal part of life to become independent of your parents? Uh... Yeah, but it's also not a normal part of life to suck your mom's fucking titty at 16. You should be the last person to talk about what's normal. Her style of parenting already made me become the weird kid in school. Because whenever something happens that I don't like, I just start crying or screaming. I know it's immature, but I can't help it. My emotions just take over. Wow, I didn't know Chris was gay. And a woman. I actually blame my mom for me being so immature. She homeschooled me until I was 14. Why does he keep going back to the homeschool thing? Listen, I wasn't homeschooled, so I'm not getting offended, but I'm getting mad because that's clearly not the reason. You're sucking your mom's titty, bro! You've been sucking at a thing for like 16 years, that's clearly the reason. That type of shit screws your head. That's why I recently told her I wanted to join the military once I turned 18. I was just joking, but she almost had a heart attack and started begging me not to do it. She said it's too dangerous for a little boy like me. I got angry and wanted to tell her I'm not a little boy anymore. Yeah, mom, I'm not a little boy anymore. I rarely suck your titties now, dude. I only do that like once a week now instead of every day. But then she offered me to play hide and seek again, just like in the old times. It's a game where my mom hides somewhere inside our house, and once I find her, I can drink her milk as a reward. Uh, come here, Chris. Let's play hide and go sucky if you win and get these bad boys. Anyways, for the next two years, I will continue to live with my mom, and I'm not planning to stop breastfeeding anytime soon. I simply enjoy it too much. 
All right, so you obviously did not learn your lesson. Let's watch the next video. Hey, I'm Catherine, and I have two boyfriends. Slut! I know, I know. It sounds crazy, but it works well for me. Wow, you're a bitch. My first boyfriend is Nicholas. He's a total bad boy, and Ooh. I love it. He's got tattoos all over oh, his yeah, body. That's hot. He's incredibly charming, and he's a real ladies' man. Oh, I'm wet. Even when we're out together holding hands, he'll still flirt with other girls, but I don't mind. I mean, even though he sees other girls, he's always paying me compliments and telling me I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Catherine clearly has no self-respect. I don't care if he bangs my sister. He tells me I'm pretty. He's not perfect, though. I guess if he was, I wouldn't need to date a second guy, because he can be really immature at times. Like, one day he will send me a text about how much he's thinking about me, and then he will suddenly disappear for two weeks without a word. Hmm, it's like he's talking to other girls or something. Well, isn't that strange? Even though I'm well aware that he's hanging out with other bimbos, I'm still mad at the fact that he's not giving me his full attention. God, I'm irrational. While Nicholas is a real bad boy, Burned is the opposite. This scenario actually reminds me of that one hentai I was watching the other day. It was between uh, a bad boy and a goody two-shoes and this one chick, and then they all sucked each other's toes. Sounds like the perfect man, right? Well, that's the problem. He's so perfect, it's boring. He's so worried about saying the right thing, he never relaxes and lets loose. Like, when we go out for dinner, he gets annoyed if I laugh too loud. Well, yeah, it's really annoying when you laugh super loud and dragging all this attention to my way. Bitch, just use your indoor voice. Because he's all about fitting in and not making a fuss. Unlike me, I'm not like the other girls. Dating both guys means I get to spend time with someone who's fun and with someone who's caring. And it's not like I'm hurting anyone. Burn knows about Nicholas, and although he'd rather we were exclusive, he'd never stop me from seeing him. Because he wants me to be happy. Wow, Burt's a cuck. And this whole, as long as I'm happy thing is such bullshit. You're a horrible person. Next video. Hey, I'm Camille, and this story is about my crazy mother. She had a new boyfriend every week. And one time, she even dated her own cousin. <laughs> It was so gross. It was so gross. By the way, my stepdad looking fine as hell. One day, my boyfriend and I came home late. We were completely wasted. And while I went to bed, he fell asleep on the couch. The next morning, he sent me a really disturbed message saying that my mom had made out with him last night while it was dark. He said he didn't notice it was my mom until it was too late and they... You know what? Yeah, I'm sure he didn't know. For the 52% of the people watching this video, I'm gonna let you on a little secret. When a guy is going after you, he's actually going after your mom. I'm sorry, you probably didn't want to hear that, but that's just the truth. Your only purpose in life is to serve as a bridge between us and your mothers. I knew I had to take my revenge. So the next morning, I came very close to her husband, Michael, and said, Stepdaddy, can you make me some breakfast? I even fluttered my eyes at him, but he just ignored it. Wow, what a bastard. How could he not find his stepdaughter sexually attractive? What a pig. In the end, I showed him my boyfriend's SMS and told him that his wife had slept with my boyfriend. I knew he deserved someone better, and that person was me. Oh my god. I'm not allowed to talk about the details here on YouTube, but let's just say that for the next few months, me and my stepdad Michael had a very close relationship. Really? The video title is called My Stepdad Got Me Pregnant. I don't think censorship is really necessary anymore. Even a brain dead fetus with alcohol syndrome could tell what you guys were doing. And somehow, I got pregnant. Somehow? But you just said you guys were close for months. Like, what did you expect? Are you retarded? Actually, considering the fact that your mom was close with her cousin, you probably are. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep the baby. But then I realized that having a kid with my mom's husband was the ultimate revenge on her. As you guys can tell, these are all horrible people. The mom cheated on her husband with her daughter's boyfriend, the husband fucked his stepdaughter, and the stepdaughter wants to have a baby just to spite her mother. I will see you all in hell. My mom was right next to me, making one sarcastic comment after the other, like, Oh, this baby will be a problem child. It's already causing lots of trouble. At some point, I had enough and couldn't take it anymore. 
I screamed. Michael got me pregnant. Your stupid husband got me pregnant. Damn, Jackie, that could be anybody! At first, she was just quiet. She wasn't sure if I was making a joke or not, but when she realized I wasn't joking, she went berserk, and it took three doctors to keep her away from me. Yeah, I'm sure that happened. I literally got in a fistfight with my mom while I was in labor. True story. Meanwhile, I was laughing so hard, I almost fell out of bed. I knew I had finally gotten my revenge. Oh my god, y'all are just a bunch of fucking psychopaths. The next day, my stepdad went to work, but when he stepped out of his car, my mom drove her car right into him. Luckily, she missed him, and now she's serving a five-year prison sentence for attempted murder. Oh yeah, I'm sure that happened too. To be fair though, there were some funny moments. One time, she broke into our neighbor's garage and stole his lawnmower. And one week later, she did a garage sale and sold the same lawnmower she had stolen back to its previous owner for a hundred bucks. What idiot doesn't know his own possessions and then buys his own stolen possessions a week after? Is everyone in this video an incest baby because they're all fucking retarded? Well, judging from the palm trees in the front of your yard, I'm guessing you live in deep south Florida. So yeah, pretty good chances you live in Hickville. Anyway, thank you for listening to my story and please subscribe to this channel. No. Suck my pee-pee.